Hello and welcome, it's Kane here. And today I've got another multiplayer analysis video for you. And so I wanted to show you a game in which I actually lost as Germany. Yeah, it happens. Uh, probably the worst game I've played <laughs> in a very long time. But I did want to show you, exactly. we'll go through exactly the mistakes that I made, uh, the terrible mistakes that I made, uh, what I could have done differently, and how I could have won, played instead. So unfortunately, this save is actually a little bit after I crashed out of the game due to a power failure, but regardless, I, there was no path to victory for the Axis. It was, I can confidently say it was an allied victory. Uh, so we'll get into exactly what I did wrong. Firstly, the, the rules of the server that we played on were a bit were pretty bad. For instance, we've got Czechoslovakia allowed on the Axis, and Czechoslovakia is just a better UK. They have so many national spirit bonuses to plant production. So again, really, that's an Axis tilt tilted rule set, so really no excuse for losing this game. So what did I do wrong and what kind of happened? Well, we started the war earlier because we didn't have to go through, uh, you know, demand Sudetenland, first Vienna and fate of Czechoslovakia, because we, we, we knew they were going to hold France. I properly scouted them as doing Metropolitan. I knew they were going light tanks because I checked uh, through the request license production. So we knew they were going to try and Hold France. So the plan was to uh, attack them early uh, before they were ready. But I wasn't. <laughs> On the flip side, I was also not ready. Most of my infantry divisions were half equipped, uh, which was quite painful. But that was of minor, uh, a minor issue, really. What happened was a disastrous micro failure here. So I should have seen this coming because I'd heard the strat previously. While I was attacking Poland and sending the planes in the lend lease to. Czechoslovakia, uh, the French player Bregan actually attacked into uh, West Germany here uh, with his tank divisions. Now that's not, uh, that, that took me completely by surprise. It really shouldn't have because I scouted the fact that he was going home in France with Metropolitan France. And I scouted the fact that he was going to try and do it with light tank divisions. So I should have seen that coming. It was, but so, And I'd heard of that strap being used before. So really there's uh, no excuse as to failing on that. On, failing to see that coming. But the real disaster was, while I was trying to take Poland, I marked him, he was trying to attack into West Germany. I sent, gave an order with two tank divisions, looked away, gave some orders over here, and instead of looking back quickly, right, I got fixated here on killing the AI, which is like one of the worst, this is a terrible decision. And then I got two tank divisions, two of my five tank divisions encircled by Bregan's crappy tank divisions and the French players' crappy tank divisions. And that really set the tone for the game, the rest of the game. A disastrous micro failure on my behalf. Getting encircled, even though I think we had air superiority as well. Truly disastrous. Um, or it might have been yellow, I'm not sure. Uh, truly, truly disastrous there. There's no, no excusing that. Um, this happened, this part here that you're seeing here, although it happened after I crashed out due to the power failure. I'm not sure, I think he was resting the it. Anyway, so I lost two tank divisions there. That's disastrous. Um, and Poland then, because I kind of panicked and switched all my guy, too many divisions to the west, I didn't need to panic and switch too many infantry to the west. Uh, should have just cleared up Poland and retreated behind uh, the Rhine River, which is what I eventually did. Uh, and then it kind of staticed out. So what I should have done was, assume, once, firstly, never lost those two tank divisions, but the game was still winnable after losing those two tank divisions. What I should have just done was retreated behind the Rhine, finished off Poland, um, planes get to Czech Republic. I should have built more CAS, another problem. I spent too long building fighters, even though we were kind of winning the air war. I should have switched over to CAS to really help me. And CAS would have, if I switched over earlier to CAS, that really would have um, been quite beneficial because I would have, uh, what was it? Would have uh, alleviated the issue of the disaster of losing those two tank divisions. Uh, because I lost those two tank divisions, I kind of had to force out un uh, some under strength tank divisions for the rest of the game. And yeah, it was just, Kind of disastrous from that point on. All right, so the next thing that happened was they, the Allies made a push into northern uh, Italy. The Italian players started to fall back. And so I had to, with these other fresh tank divisions, that came in here. So they, the Allies got to about here. And uh, that's when I counterattacked with my tanks. And I think after losing the, disastrously losing those tank divisions here, I played too cautiously. I think it's one of the issues that I have. I'm either too, with my micro, it's either too aggressive. Sometimes it's either too aggressive and sometimes it's too cautious. So there was a moment here where the Italian player got encircled and the French player Bregan was pushing out with these tanks and I could have actually encircled a whole lot more of them 
think I only got caught one of them. I might not have caught any of them here. But I think if I'd played uh, more aggressively, I would have captured, I would have taken them all. And that would have evened it up a little bit. Instead, it kind of turned into this stalemate. We recaptured half the Alps. And I, I, another, the next terrible mistake that I made was I buggerized around too much in the Alps here. Uh, in terrible terrain. I, don't, I need to learn my lesson about tanks and terrain. I know it. I know it theoretically. Yeah, of course. Tanks are crap in mountainous terrain, right? But it seems a lot of, a couple of games, uh, I've still insisted on wasting time with using tanks and mountains when I should just pull back, go someplace else. And I still didn't learn that lesson. So, and I paid the price here. The terrible attrition, running out the clock. You know, the longer it takes you to take France, the worse it really is. So that was another horrible mistake. The Italian player, uh, I don't know, he didn't hold particularly well, but it's not his fault. It's my fault for not, you know, I should have counterattacked here and won here and would have been fine. But instead I buggerized around too long. Uh, eventually, finally, uh, got out of here and then we finally started making some headway into Belgium. We tried, we were attacking um, uh, this Alice's point from the, four, from the five provinces here. And it was actually going pretty well. We almost got it, but it kind of stalemated it out. So then we went, through Belgium and we're finally actually making some headway when uh, I got the power failure but at this point it's too late it's too late there's no way we could win uh, the long game at this point we've lost too much industrial capacity from not taking France um, yeah pretty disastrous game uh, particularly one in which the I mean it was stacked in my favor so Interesting to know, we'll, we'll talk a bit about the strategy. So it is one of the things I like, it's, you know, it's, if you know, even if you've got the advantages in, in this game, even if you've got all the advantages like I had this game, a couple of really bad decisions can still cost you it, right? You can, you can still lose the game through poor micro and poor decision making. I let Poland go out too long, I panicked, put too many infantry here instead of finishing off Poland, losing those two tank divisions, buggerizing around too long. I mean... So if you, if you make a few too many mistakes, you, you can still lose, even if the, you know, the game, even if it's still stacked in your favor, like this game definitely was. Uh, all right. So we'll talk a little bit about the uh, things that uh, the French player did that was really smart. So it, it is a strategy, a great, it, you can against weaker Germany's attack earlier on with these light tank divisions. And uh, while, they, while the planes are on their way to Czechoslovakia, it worked out pretty well for him. But on the whole, I do think this light tank France strategy relies on the German player making mistakes. That's why I kind of don't like it. In this case, it worked out perfectly for him because I made t three terrible mistakes. But I do feel in this, these situations where the French player is trying to hold with light tanks that you are kind of relying, the Allies are kind of relying on, you could probably play perfectly as France, and I think Reagan pretty much did play perfectly as France, but you are still relying on the German player making mistakes like I did. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best way to play. We'll have a look at these tank divisions that I'll show you. All right, so we'll have a look at these tank templates. So it's a 20 width template and I don't actually think it could, yeah, so light tanks motorized. He's put support anti-air, what is his anti-air? So 47, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, but again, I think if I'd built enough CAS earlier on, it would have alleviated this, would, would have negated his anti-air enough because it's not up to 100, so. That's what he's gone with and he's, yeah, and he's got a dispersed light anti-air as well. Uh, yeah, and the, again, let's have a look at the, okay. So, what is it? One, two, three lines on fighters. It's really not enough to have three lines on fighters, but I guess he was like, at this point, they were trying to push out infantry for France. So we actually, I think for a lot, a lot of this actually had air superiority, which really just compounds just the micro failing on my behalf um, as well. Uh, he was producing fighter three, so he upgraded the right one. He still had the license, it's a mistake. So what did he go with? Weapons five and, and instead of engine. So it should have been engine uh, reliability and range, then weapons. That's another mistake. Really, yeah, we really shouldn't have lost. We really shouldn't have lost this one, lost this game at all. Uh, and I think eventually, it's quite possibly would have actually taken France, particularly with this setup, if it hadn't have um, crashed out due to the power failure. But again, at this point, I think you know the Soviet Union is building up, and yeah, we would have lost the long game anyway. It's too long. Not another thing was strap bombing was allowed this game, and oh, it's cancerous. The strap bombing, absolute cancer. 
Uh, that might have been why yeah, the new yeah, this strap on me kind of negates the need for too many fighters just because of the escort bonus they give. They can just give you supremacy so easily. All right, we'll have a look at the Italian player. I don't know what he was doing. So yeah, fighters and artillery and infantry. So there's nothing too much wrong. I don't know what happened here. He kind of, yeah, we got naval invaded uh, by the allies here, which is kind of a shame. Uh, and he failed to hold this front. He needed me to bail him out. I can't get too upset with him, to be honest. What was his template? Uh, I hope that wasn't his normal template. No, it was. Okay. I oh, know he's got a 40 width. How many of those have he had? 10. Okay, 29, okay, I don't know. I don't really like, yeah. He should have had most of these divisions as uh, 40 width and then port guards as 20 width. I don't know, but you can't, I can't get mad at the Italian player too much. It's on, it's on, it's on you as the German player, All right? You should regard, pretty much regardless of what your ally, your Axis allies do, you should, as long as you've got a good air controller, I did, you should be able to get through France. Anyway, so here's a game that I lost. I <laughs> wanted to show you that, so, you can still throw games away through bad micro, even if you've got everything going for you like I did. So it's really important uh, that you stay on top of your micro and keep focusing on that. Because you look away too long, too busy here, you don't flip flip back between two fronts and you can throw it, throw it all away like I did. Uh, so learn from my lesson, don't throw it away, pay attention uh, at all times and you know, give an order, all right? Give another order and then come back, okay? like. I think so what I try, I don't know, what I've been, what I'm notorious for doing is like giving an order and then watching it, even though you don't need to, and then you could be doing something else, right? So, but uh, to try and fix that, I've been trying to give an order, give another order, then come back. Instead, I just gave an order, gave another order, and then watched over here, which is the worst thing, like watching the AI, oh God, that's cancer, right? So, so bad. And then got encircled here. Um, but yeah, I, I think, so, <laughs> also I think it'd be good to show you guys a, a really bad loss just because I saw, I, I found a few guys, a few of you viewers, you found me on Discord and whatnot and talked to me. I think some of you have an unrealistic expectation of how good I am at this game just because I make YouTube videos of it. I honestly think, like, Hearts of Iron is one of the only thing, one of the only games in which the people that make YouTube videos of it are actually, like, for the most part, terrible at the game. Like, I'm not terrible at the game, but, you know, I'm not the best, right? I'm not KLS, I'm not, you know, Toronto or whatever. So, and I think the other YouTubers are far worse, to be honest. So it's one of the few games in which the YouTubers or the people that like, you know, make their living off this game suck tremendously at it. So, yeah, this is a funny thing to note. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I can think, oh, did I miss anyone really important? I can let's have a look at what the USA was doing. Yeah, if I can guess, it'll be producing strap bombers. Yeah, so strap bombers. He's going for medium tanks. All right, what did he, let's have a look. He went superior firepower. I don't know, maybe there was a reason for that. Let's have a look. Armored divisions. He's going full armored divisions, but he went superior firepower. I mean, that's interesting. Marine. Okay, he's going. Okay. Uh, piercing. Yeah. I mean, again, not enough piercing. I, yeah. Odd decisions here. There's really, really no reason for me to lose this game. I really should have won this. Uh, too much on anti tank as well. So he's building fighter threes, so that's good, but he's building the license one, so this is a mistake here. So total license factory output negative fifty five percent. Never produce your license. Use the so you get the license to help you research it um, faster, right? So see, you can research this by twenty percent faster, and then you combine that with TIS admission. UK does TIS admission, and then you can get it really fast. So don't. So it's it'd actually be better off for like see, he's only producing two and a half a day off full efficiency. That's terrible. He'd actually be better off building fighter twos, if he's own fighter twos, I think, just to get more fighter twos out. He's building strap bombers uh, as well. What else is he building? So, is he building Canis? No, so he's just building medium tanks. Odd decision to go so hard at the medium tanks and go down superior firepower. But maybe he saw the way things were going in France and was like, ah, oh, I can do tanks and get away with that. And yeah. Anyway, he, he very, very much could have because I played so terribly this game. So. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I do lose games. I <laughs> uh, should never have lost this game. It's very sad. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've got another video coming up very soon. The Min Max for Germany. So take care and I'll see you next time.